What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about how we ends in this video here again today. Talking about Lori Strode and uh, Hawkins, their relationship that might be going on in Halloween ends. I don't think I've touched on this too much, but you can see that in the trailer that we've gotten, or teaser I guess we can call it, Lori Strode might be married in Halloween Ends. And now, of course, the safe, safe assumption, if she is indeed married, because she might not be, the safe assumption is that she's married to Hawkins. So if they're married, perhaps that's going to be a source of eventual pain down the road or trauma being reawakened within Lori. If Hawkins, unfortunately, ends up dying by the hands of either Corey Cunningham or Michael Myers. Now, what are the odds of them dying? Hawkins could, of course, die. Now, this has only been increased in a lot of people's minds, myself included, going off of two images that have now been released. There is an image that came out a couple days ago when when Jamie Lee had made that same announcement video talking about the movie was going to Peacock and in theaters on the same date of October 14th. Before that, a couple hours before, she put out an image saying updates were coming. Now, in this image, Lori Strode is basically looking off into whatever she's looking at. She's lo looking off into the distance. But in the background of this image, it's a little bit blurry. There's clearly a dead body in the background. Was that Corey Cunningham or was that Hawkins? Now, the reason that could have been Hawkins was only amplified if you want to, again, go off of some, make some assumptions along the way. Another recent image that came out show this was again shaped by, shared by jamie lee curtis over on her instagram page i think when she was celebrating the fact that she could have her name spelled a certain way on instagram or something but she shared this steal of Lori in clear dis despair um and crying out in some sort of pain while she is on i would assume is a flight of stairs coming down possibly stumbling on something which i'm again assuming will be hawkins dead body so if that is what happens in the movie, perhaps this is what will then make this kitchen brawl that much more meaningful in a way and give it give it some weight under it versus go again making assumptions. If we have a scenario in which Michael literally just shows up, was looking for his mask and Lori Strode just happened to be there. If you do it in a way in which something happened prior to Lori discovering Michael in her home, then that would make the kitchen ball that they're about to go go through a little bit more important because again it seems like these two are not going to have a lot to do with each other prior to this kitchen brawl it seems like a big chunk of this movie will be carried by Corey cunningham and it seems like a good chunk of this movie will be carried by how haddonfield is treating him and his relationship that he has with allison so we'll see what ends up happening when that comes out if hawkins ends up being the one dead or and when i say ends up being the one if that's honestly what is making Lori scream like that in that image then if, again that would make their kitchen brawl somewhat more meaningful versus hey i'm in your house and Lori being like, oh, that's that's the dude I don't like. That's the dude that caused me all this pain 40 years ago. I'm going to kill him once and for all. If he kills Hawkins before this, that'll just make their encounter a little bit more meaningful, add a cushion underneath it. Because again, a lot of people, and I get where you're coming from, they would argue that Lori Strode is pretty pointless in this trilogy. And I get where they're coming from. Halloween 2018... I would say definitely does a good job at making her presence here be meaningful and giving her a reason to even exist still in this timeline. But now with the shift of her learning that Michael was never after her in Halloween Kills, her taking a back seat in Halloween Kills, and then now the approach with Halloween ends, doing a time jump four years later, it's like, bro, why is she still here? Why is she still here? She's, of course, going to have some type of re relevance to the plot because we know she has a kitchen brawl with Michael Myers. But when you have a movie that is, again, presumably censored on someone who's not Laurie Strode, but then in the background of it all, Laurie Strode is still processing the fact that Michael was never after her. This had nothing to do with Laurie this entire time like she thought it had to do with you're kind of undermining, I guess, her presence in a way to some people when they see that the focus is being shifted from her. And again, I, I've already touched on this in another video. You're giving Corey Cunningham a pretty much more interesting role compared to Lori Strode so far. Yeah, it's nice that she is married if she is indeed married. 
And it would be nice to see her again. And Jamie Lee Curtis is undoubtedly going to give another great performance. But the thing about it is, why is she still here? That's what a lot of people are coming down to when it pertains to this trilogy. They think that they've done a disservice to her character. And in a lot of ways, I can understand where you're coming from. Because it seems like now, after the events of 2018, with the two sequels we've gotten or are about to have, they're stepping further and further away from Lori even needing to be here in this trilogy basically using her as a selling point which is what i never want to see happen with the character of sydney prescott i would never want to see sydney prescott just show up in a screen movie and she's just here because she's sydney prescott i that notion is not strong enough to justify why she's in the movie you need to respect the character you need to give her an arc you need to give her something to work with and i think the character of laurie strode deserves the same thing so far we know she's working on a memoir she might be married and she's gonna have a kitchen brawl with michael myers so she's clearly very important in that regard but if a large chunk of the movie is carried by Corey Cunningham, I will then understand even further why people would still come out saying she didn't need to be in this movie. I just would. I would see exactly where they're coming from. If you argue that she didn't need to be in this movie because if this movie ends up exactly being what many of us think it will be, and that's a character study on this Corey Cunningham individual, and she just happens to get tossed up in the mix with him because of Allison, and she's just basically in the background as a supporting role i i can see where people will then come from when they say why was laurie strode even in this movie she basically doesn't need to be here as far as what has transpired in the events of 2018 to now because i think you would have been more her presence would have been a lot more impactful i think had they have kept this movie trilogy of theirs as a as a trilogy occurring in one night even, the more I think about it, the more this time jump seems like a very bad move. The time jump just seems like a very bad move. And it's it's causing a disservice to Laurie Strode. And again, a lot of this is based off of assumptions. When I sit down and watch Halloween Ends, I hope it is a good movie. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys... I will see you in the next video.